Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Welcome. Welcome. So let's see if we can get some people to come in. It is storming here, so I'm hoping for the best internet uh, reception. Sometimes when it's storming, we're not getting... Hi, Madison. Hi, Jean. Hi, Julie. Oh, good. You got some people coming in. Hi, Beth Ann from Philadelphia. I cannot even... Hi, Jackie from Pittsburgh. It's not going to let me load, I don't think, on the computer, so... Um, I will let you deal with that, and I'm going to go on, okay? Okay. I'll stand here a minute and just take a look. I do see Kristen. I see two Kristens. And Nicola. And Jean and Marsha and Nancy. Happy Wednesday, Nancy. Hi, Beth Ann. There is Nicola. Hello. So come on in. It is raining and storming off and on here, so let's just hope for the best. Um, I just want to show you guys, for those who have been following me for a while and know that um, we do, my Piccadilly Pearls do a, a team project of community service. And we have in Ohio a retirement village that, or not Ohio, in Omaha, a retirement village that um, Kristen Tatum is um, doing some cards with. Uh, helping build a little bit of positive energy going on and we have the cards for soldiers and I have a project here and this is for the animals at the Humane Society so I got a couple of really awesome donations that came in and I just want to share with them I'm gonna go quick because we kind of have techniques and they take a little bit time this is from Beth Ann now look at these cards aren't they beautiful this is going to be awesome. There's so many. I love that one. Love, love, love. I love that sunflower. I love this one, but I also like so the butterflies. Cute. Aren't they adorable? Yeah. So thank you so much, Beth Ann, for these. They're going to be going to the, to the little animals that need a little love. And oh, look at the calla lily and the purple. Ooh. So pretty. So I appreciate that. And then... France, who's actually a part of the team, sent me another donation. These cards, I'm. she is always above and beyond when it comes to her little cards. Fun folds, look at this. Isn't that just cute? Yeah. Now, um, it is okay if it's retired product. Puppy dogs don't care. And so or I, kitty cats. Or kitty cats, yes. Or bunnies or whatever bunnies else they have. <laughs> But um, it's a good time to use, like, retired sets. Now, here's one that's actually current. Isn't that just cute as can be? Hello, Sunshine. I just used that stamp a few weeks ago. So, aren't these gorgeous? Look at this. This is the new Ornate Garden. I love it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here's some of the um, uh, paper from Celebration this year. And, of course, I love the poppies. And just fun folds, and I just think they're great. So I wanted to share them. I do like to share when I get cards, and especially for these large donations, you guys, it means so much. The animals, um, last time we did it, not just from our donations, but from all of them, had a couple thousand dollars, and they're very underfunded here. So I just want to say thank you to the team of people who support that. So thank you so much. Okay, let's go to the announcements. I'm going to run through these super duper quick because, like I said, I have a technique card at the end tonight, and that takes just a little bit of time, and I don't want to have to be here all night, but Last Chance products are still available. Ooh, they cool. update them on the website. Still, and Some of them sold out, though. Some of them have sold out, yeah, so it's kind of a first come, first serve. There is... Get them um, while they're good. <laughs> Crazy Bill's going out of business right. here. <laughs> but if there are some things, nice I'm going to be a, using a stamp set tonight that's retired, and then I'm going to be using a current set. So um, that will be retiring. You can still get it, but it's awesome. It's one of my favorites. So those are good until June 2nd or while supplies last. Um, one of the sets that I'm going to be using that's current is the Ornate Garden. And I do want to tell you, I've had a couple of people say, this really isn't my jam, so they're the not... made from it would look pretty nice. 
Well, hold on a moment. Okay. <laughs> He's defending it right away. So sometimes color combinations don't work for people. Now this works for me fine, but I've heard other people say they don't like that. So I'm going to show an alternative tonight. Um, not really using this set, but we're going to be using this neat set of dies and um, the embossing folder. So this is um, an early release. See, early release. It's only good until May 31st um, to get it early. Then it'll go live in the regular catalog. It is an amazing set. You're going to see Piccadilly Perks. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know that my Perks program is a loyalty program just for being loyal to Piccadilly Stamping. And um, for every $35 that you spend, you get a letter to the name Piccadilly. By the time you get all 10, you get a $25 shopping spree on me, and I pay the shipping and handling and also the tax on that. So um, it's in addition to the stuff that you would earn uh, through Stampin' Up. Piccadilly Pearl's wonderful team. I just told you about how the, we're working together to do community services, and I think it's a really awesome thing, especially right now, Bill, with everything that's yeah, going on can... with COVID. Sending um, letters and cheering up people is really an important thing. There are people who are without a job and I love the fact that I get to do a job from my own home. I don't have to worry about social distancing so much, but that I can send out cards and projects to folks and um, brighten their day. In fact, here's another thing. Bill's mother actually had mentioned that they were in need of sympathy cards because um, like I don't want to say it, but the Hallmark store, so that's like a paper crafter. You don't talk about Hallmark, but, um, you know, they're closed. The grocery stores. Yeah, the grocery stores are, the these aren't essential items. So, um, of course, I made some up and sent them to her. But it is a very important time to send a little cheer, which leads me, Bill, right into the next little part, which is... Ooh, what is so it? join my team if you want to be a part of that. <coughs> It is the next paper pumpkin. Ooh, look how bright and colorful that so, is. This Ooh. is for June. Um, you can sign up between now and June 10th. This is called a box of sunshine. Now, let me just tell you about this. Last month, um, our paper pumpkin sold out, which I think was the first in in the time period, I think. Yeah. Um, so it sold completely out and they didn't have any more that they were making or sending out. Um, and just because of that, I do want to let you guys know that they had run out of, if you were a new subscriber, if you were already a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you should be getting your Paper Pumpkin boxes for May with the new in colors in it. But if you were a new subscriber in May, um, it's going to be a little bit late because they usually send a little D block in there and they ran out of those because they went so quick. Oh, wow. I have a feeling that this one will go quick too. So if you want to, you can sign up. Um, I'll post something uh, tomorrow with a link so that you can sign up underneath of me for Paper Pumpkin. Let me just tell you how much this inspired me. So I actually did a little shopping. Now, if you don't know what a box of sunshine means, it's where you buy a bunch of bright things in yellows and orange and lemon heads. <laughs> lemon heads bill says i think we know what he likes and um you put it together in a little package and you ship it off to someone so that when they open it up it's just bright and i went and did a little um juicy fruit gum i don't know what else i had in there but i had some some little things to put together and some little yellow shred to kind of decorate it and i kind of sent some stuff off to my pearls and then um, I got to thinking about it, and I had a lot of other ideas come to my mind. And I've made kind of a, um, a cute little set that I'll be giving out to some folks. So 
I'm going to be waiting for my June paper pumpkin so I can do another box of sunshine. They're even having labels with this so it won't say paper pumpkin. You can decorate the box and resend it. I think that's fabulous. That's kind of cool. It's really cool. So this has inspired me actually for tonight's demonstration. We are going to do bright and vibrant cards. So get your sunglasses out. Yeah, get them out. Today, I received... <laughs> You're funny, Bill. Get them out. Turn Get them out. <laughs> make your photo sense um, eyes. Today, I received Stampin' Up! sometimes has incentives for us. And I got my new catalogs. My pre-order still hasn't come. And for those who have ordered from me and they're like, where are my orders? I know that there's some that have been sitting for Marsha, Laura. There's, a, um, I think, even Jean... Um, have been sitting. It, it's just the COVID and the work schedules. They're trying to get stuff out as fast as possible, but they are a little behind. So Jean I still says, don't. Jean Shute says her uh, um, May one is May paper pumpkin shipped. Okay, May paper pumpkin shipped. Great, that's good. But I think you were already signed up, Jean. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to show you. This is the new catalog. These have also shipped, so like Jean, who was just talking, since you're a current uh, customer of mine, um, this will be coming to you too. I can't open it up on camera. I can show you the cover only, and I'm just going to give a little teaser of some of the new stuff. It's so awesome. But I can tell you, this is probably, I say this every time, I know I do, you guys, but I really like it. It's really good. The only thing that I'm really sorry and I'm sad about is my little cows are gone. But And my Starburst Punch. Yeah. So um, I actually won um, one of the little Stampin' Up! for demonstrators does a little competition. So I won a stamp set out of there. I can't open it up to show you, but I can show you the stamp set that I won. And I actually made a card out of this today that I'll have to show you. I need to do just a little revamp on it. So let's get going because there's a lot to demonstrate today. Can I get you to put this safe sure. over there? I brought get the, the touch. <laughs> I brought that um, in today or the other day and when Bill brought that those boxes in that I took that picture of him and um, I said you gotta see this you gotta see this and when I did uh, he put his hand on it and he goes oh <laughs> 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 like he knows that this is really really important so listen if you're just joining me welcome say hello tell us where you're from this is my host code to use um, I think this is going until June now, so this is my current host code. Um, you can it. like me right here on Facebook. I would appreciate it, um, and thanks for joining us. Now, I want to talk about some colors. So we have So Saffron. These are some of our yellows. Um, Daffodil Delight, which I've always thought was super bright. We have kind of almost a school bus yellow. It's called Crushed Curry. And then our in color, this is one that is going to be leaving us, and I'm really kind of sad about it, is Pineapple Punch. So this is a really bright and vibrant color. And I wanted you to see the difference. You can see how vibrant it is. Because if this is something you might want, it's one of the things that's going to be going out. So I'm going to hand you those. Let's grab Beth Ann got her catalog already. Oh, Beth Woo! Ann, you lucky dog. It says her husband brought it in right away. <laughs> he knew better, right? He knew better. <laughs> so um, we're going to do just a little emboss, which isn't a new technique. Um, the, 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 but I do want to show you this. So this is the beautifully braided. It has a braided punch. Um, that comes with it if you want to get it, it together and it has a 10% off. I'm not going to be using the set tonight. I'm going to be using this image, which I thought was a flower and someone pointed out to me that it's a leaf. So thank you, whoever you were on the internet that pointed that I said it wrong, but it's some sort of a leaf and I'm sure someone knows. Is Joy here? Yeah. Okay. Joy, Joy will know. Joy knows yeah, everything. Sorry. And then with that theme, with the paper pumpkin theme, your smile brightens my day is the sentiment that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to hand that off to you. I have a piece of this bright and vibrant pineapple punch. Oh, what I tell you? you Got to put your glasses on. And I'm just going to make a card base. Did that ever come in? Okay. Okay, I'm 
Okay, as long as I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't hear any storm going on. So I'm going to set this aside. I just made a card base. It was a, a piece of cardstock cut in half, folded in half. I have a um, piece of basic black. It's four um, by five and a quarter. And then I have another piece of the yellow. And this one is at three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to start off with this piece of paper. And we're going to do just a, a real quick emboss here. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy. This helps, if you haven't ever seen this, this helps with keeping like the oils and stuff off your fingers um, from attracting the embossing powder because we're going to do some heat emboss. And I'm going to get this great big image, and I've got the great big block on this. And I'm going to use my Versamark ink to ink this up. Did you get it figured out, Bill? No, not yet. So I know some of my card maker friends that are on here now are sending out cards because you've sent some to me, so thank you very much. But um, those new who are joining, if you know someone who's has in need of a little love and love, and this is a great way to use up some of your craft supplies and spread a little joy. So I'm going to press this image down with the Versamark I think I got that pretty darn good I'm gonna hand you that Wow that's a big one I know <laughs> and I'm gonna use white emboss powder um, ginkgo leaves is what Janet calls them yes I I knew when I heard it I would know what they are, but I I doubt these are. Okay, well, that came out pretty good, actually. I only have one. So I'm just putting the powder right on that image, and it's probably hard to see um, on that. Actually, no. Isn't it? Is it coming up pretty good? Okay, yeah. great. I am going to... Oh, oh I'm gonna plug it in. Sorry, guys. I we it got so cold here because the temperature just went down that I plugged in a little heater that I have. But I'm gonna plug in my heat tool. I love this heat tool, and we're just gonna do a quick. I love watching it melt, so I'm gonna try to do this on camera the best I can. Maybe. There it goes. It's starting. Okay. Oh, cool. It is. I love it when it's the metallics. Magical. Woo! Isn't that neat? This is one of my... What color is that? This is just the white embossed powder. Okay. It's not the shimmer white. Okay. All right. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of talking about the different ways to um, apply some color. And I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to get a little scrap piece of paper here and put down. Okay, you do have to wait for this to dry just a little bit. If it gets too, um, if it's too warm when you start on it, it will smear. So it's good. That's all it took. So I'm going to use the pineapple punch on the pineapple punch. <clears throat> this is my Jensen color bill. Yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead, and this is a sponge dot. Very good, because I want it pretty inky. And I'm going to start in the middle in just kind of a circular motion. Now, you see how that color kind of pops the image right off the paper? Can you see it, Bill? Or are you too far no, away? I can see it. I'm... Okay. I just didn't know, because, like, 
I'm, and I'm not going to be too exact, you guys. I have a part here that didn't ink up well, and that's okay because leaves aren't perfect. Maybe a bug chewed on it, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do my little Bob Ross. <laughs> Life isn't perfect. So, do you see how this is just pulling that color out? I love it. Good. I do too. I think it's beautiful. I probably never, I, you know, some sets stick with you and some sets don't. I'll probably never sell this just because I like it that much. I've used it in a lot of projects. What's that? <clears throat> this stamp set. Oh, okay. And this is one that is on the um, retiring list. Better get it soon. Yeah. So if it's something you think you like. Um, I've done a couple of things on my blog if you want to see other ways that this project can or this stamp set can be used This is my favorite. However um, I wanted something really bright and For this kind of a yellow. I mean This is really bright Whoops, you okay, hun? Yep did you guys see Bill's picture? Isn't he adorable? I don't know if you saw I posted it. He comes in like his back is breaking, carrying a couple boxes of... I thought it was my pre-order, you guys, and it ended up being just the catalogs. So... That's why it, the UPS guy brought a little cart. He did not bring a little <laughs> cart. Jeez, Bill. So then I'm going to take that, um, your, your smile brightens my day, because I think that's really cool. I'm going to go right into, especially with as bright as this card is, right into the Tuxedo Memento Black ink. Stamp that up really good. And put that right down here. Now, you guys, I am using a black that is way too big for this image. But um, I'm out of my other ones because I've got them set up for other projects and videos that I'm doing. Um, I will say though, when I have a block that's too big and I'm doing something thin like this, I'm right-handed. So I put it over here so that I can see and my right hand, which is dominant, is mostly holding the block. That helps with a little bit of rocking. So just a little tip. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Now, I'm going to take that black mat. These would be easy enough that you could sit and kind of do an assembly line for them if you wanted to send out some cards. And maybe you don't necessarily um, care for the color. Switch it up. I just was doing keeping in that theme. Okay, what are you giggling about? Oh, France is like, you thought the catalogs were heavy. Wait till their pre-order comes. <laughs> France, don't get me in trouble. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> Although she's right. Yeah. Hopefully it's in two boxes. <laughs> so I'm just going to add that on with the green glue to give that little bit of black. Now, um, you don't have to do the black. You can just actually put it onto the base without the black. I just thought I would bring a little more pop to it so it didn't look so... Yellow. yellow I had to break it up just a little bit so you can glue it down or you can pop it up and actually with this one it up. I'm gonna Here pop it go. up and I don't generally do these popped up but I do think that this is kind of cute and is my mother on yeah oh well she's gonna flip out over all the dimensionals I'm using in one row mm. it's okay mom I can't have sag. That's just my issue. So let's pop this up here. What's really cool is just that little bit of shimmer and shine with that. Now this is where I miss the green glue. That's another reason, you guys, why I do the green glue so much. Is because then I can kind of get it even. Maneuver around it, huh? Yeah, I can maneuver. I like maneuver. it. So they also make ribbon in the same pineapple punch. And I've got one pre-done just because I'm going to spend so much time on the next technique that I want to make sure I have time for it. <clears throat> oh, I love my little hanging 
glue dots now. I'm going to fold the glue dot over just so it's a little bit smaller because this is only an eighth inch um, ribbon. Oh. And I'm just going to pop that right on down here. And then I think I'll do... Pineapple punch ribbon is sold out. It is sold out. Okay. Well, sorry, guys. Janet just said. You could use a piece of Baker's twine, too. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, is going out. And then I'm just going to take some... For a little... I mean, it, you got to have sparkle. It's bright, but let's add a little sparkle in here, right? Little bling. Little bling bling. Okay. And that goes there, Bill. So, here's that first card. I'll get that paper out of the way. I think it's just bright. And um, if I knew my daughter wasn't on here, <laughs> I would show you a, a she package. Is. She is on. Yeah. So, I can't show you. But I would show you just the cutest little package that I... Oh, did you want your Cheez-Its? Cheez-Its tonight. <laughs> <laughs> your Scooby Snacks. Um, I would show you a package that I'm attaching this to. So be surprised, Madison, when you see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay. Let's go to the next one. And I'm just, I don't want to be rushing too much. So if there's any questions, go ahead and ask. This next one just takes a little time. Oh, wow. Some pretty cards. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this Remember, card. Remember, use that host code. <laughs> yes, please. I'm I'm uh, pretty close to a goal, Bill. Did yeah. you know that? You're pretty close to a sales goal. I am. So Any little bit counts. So. That's right. Um, Thirty-five and above get you picking Billy Perks. <laughs> he said thirty-five and above get you picking Billy Perks. So you can't tell he's a little excited for me. Um, so here is this ornate style stamp set. I am not using the stamp set tonight. Just like I said, I'm going to be using the dies. It does come in a set where you save 10%. It is on pre-order now, but I went ahead and I used kind of, it's almost like a picture frame die. Okay, so this is the one that I used. And I cut it out in the basic black, which I know is going to be hard to see with my background, but I'll put it here and then I can find it. All right, and then I'm going to hand you this. Okay. This is also from the Ornate gar uh, Suite. It is the Ornate Floral Embossing Folder. So um, we're going to be doing embossing. We did heat embossing last time. We're going to be doing this, but we got a twist to this one today. So we're going to have that. I'm going to be using this So Sentimental Step. I chose the I Can't Thank You Enough Set, um, stamp set sentiment and then there's a die that comes with this and it's kind of a label look but it's stitched and I love that extra stitching on there so I cut that out in a white um, piece of whisper white cardstock and the name of the labels in case you don't like the set but I can't imagine that you wouldn't is stitch so sweetly dies again if these are bought together now through the end of the month you do get a 10% discount on the set and they are carrying over to the new catalog Oh wow! so I'm gonna start off with a basic black card base on here I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to hand that to you. I have got a piece of Whisper White. We're going to cut this down because I want it to be smaller, but for this project, I want to do, um, I want it a little bit bigger and then we'll cut it down. So I'm going to start off with a lot of color. Who likes lots of color? I do. Okay. Poppy Parade, my very favorite Ooh. red. Uh, let's see. No, let's go. Well, let's go daffodil, mango, granny, uh, maybe Bermuda, and Pacific Point. So basically, I'm going to make this really bright. Before I get going, because I'm going to do one at a time, 
I want to show you, I've had a couple of questions. How do I store my sponge daubers and my, my stuff? I don't have a very specific way of storing them. I just, it's just a couple of like Dollar Tree baskets and I put my um, masks in there and I have them into color groups. I used to buy one for every color and I had them marked from back in the days. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't even know what that one was. I've crossed it out so many times. Now I go with color groups. So um, let's pull out some of these here while I'm at it. Let's pull out a, that can be for the mango. That can be for the daffodil. Um, I just kind of go with color groups. I don't buy new ones over and over again. Here, that will be good for... What do we got here? That's That'll be good for that, for the Bermuda Bay. And we'll find the rest of them as we go. So to start off, I'm going to pull out my reds and purples, my oranges and yellows, and my greens and blues, because that's what we're going to be using of my brushes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Poppy Parade, going with my reds and purples. And I'm going to just turn, everybody does it a little bit different, I'm going to just turn my... Um, cardstock at an angle and that works for me and then I'm going to check it and I'm going to come right in and I want to go a little farther than what I'm going to use. Go ahead. Can you wash the daubers? You can wash daubers. Um, you can wash the sponge brayer. You can um, wash these. But if I keep them in the groups, I mean, I never, I've never had a problem with it. I just keep them in the color groups. Okay, so I'm doing circular motions. I'm trying to get that color to come out. And then I'll just clean this off for the next use. Okay, then I want to go with, I'm going to do Mango Melody. So I'm going to go with my orange and yellow. And I'm going to just do the next layer. I'm going to go over what I had. Oops, I didn't smack off first. I should have done that. Oh, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Then we're going to go with the daffodil. And I'm going to go right over that. And I want to kind of get some of that dark color off because this is a lighter color. And then I'm going to, this side didn't have as much, so I'm going to go a little bit more over here and right into it and coming down. I may have picked too many colors. We'll see. It'll be okay, right? You betcha. Let's hit the granny apple green. Why is that one still open? Because I didn't shut it. Oh. Okay. That's all. Any questions or anything, Bill? I've been asking them as they come in. Okay. I didn't know. This is actually quite therapeutic, I will say. Make sure you stamp, um, smear off that top layer of ink. And I'm going to go right over here. Okay. So, have you guys shared the video? If you share oh, the yeah. video, There's, you'll get into... Some people have shared two or three times. Said, awesome. Two or three times. Now, I know some people are saying that, but if I can't, if I, you're not on my friends list and I can't see it, it doesn't signal me if you've got your, if you got your profile settings locked down pretty tight. So I want you to know that's how I um, pick winners is what I can see that it's been shared. And some people have been telling me they share, but they never get picked. Well, if I can't see that you shared because I don't have the ability to. Um, Smack off. Is that another uh, technical term? Who's giving me? 
Who's giving me some guff, huh? I'm not saying. Tell me. <laughs> yes, we're gonna. Kind of like wonky. We're gonna smack it off here, and I want this very bottom to be kind of vibrant. So I'm gonna go kind of a lot right there in that corner. So you see the the um, gradient of color. I'll put these right back because we're gonna be using them all over again. But I can put my brushes away. They have served their purpose. They may pull this one out and go right there a little bit more. There we go. So they've served their purpose. Now we're gonna go into, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna pull out an embossing folder. So an embossing folder um, can emboss and deboss. You have a raised side and then you have a side that's embedded, okay? And I want you to be very aware of that because the embedded side is the side that we're gonna put some ink on. So we're gonna be using sponge daubers. Now, when I was doing this technique, I was trying to explain this to my mother and she's saying, well, you'll know how to do it. You'll just put it here. You can't do that because it needs to be on this side. But if you do it this way to follow what you have done of your rainbow of colors, when you go to put it on this side, it's going to be the wrong color touching down. So my suggestion is to put your cardstock right on top of the plate that it's going to be going on to because we're going to do like a mirror image here and I'm going to start off with the um, poppy parade and was it this one or this one that I was going to do poppy with nope that one's the other one and I'm going to take the daubers again and I'm going to and these are like five dollars for five okay five. yeah or at least they were I don't I know they are now, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at where this area is and I'm gonna kind of estimate where that would be here when it's folded over. Does that make sense? Whoops, I'm on the wrong side. I just get done telling you guys to be aware of it and then I'm on the wrong side. Okay, so the side that has got the impressions in is the side that you're gonna be putting the ink on. So it's smooth on the top. All right, here we go. Ink it up. And then we're just going to have, Bill, tell me about your day while I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> See what, you guys have some My conversations. Drive your drive commute, The commute was horrible. Was traffic bad? Well, I had a slow moving Izzy in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has, she's going to be heartbroken when he has to go back to the office because she has loved having Papa home. So you can kind of see, I'm mimicking it. I'm going to go to the next one. Are you done with that color? Yet? I'm done with it. One of the things that I do want to say is be sure not to um, push in so hard that you're pushing into those grooves because we want the color to be darker on the bottom and then the pop up to be lighter. So we're going to come right here and we're just going to mimic again. Keep talking. You guys keep talking. Ask some questions. Tell us what's going on. How many how many letters are you sending or cards are you sending out to people? I know some of you have sent quite a few. Yeah. Let's I race to the mailbox every day to see what's out there. He does, you guys. If you send him a card, I swear, he's he races in, someone sent me a card. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. So keep sending bill cards. That little happy cat loves them. Um, and I really do appreciate it. It makes my day. I've also had you guys send stuff telling me what you'd like to see. And you know what? That makes my job so much easier. So thank you. So now I'm going to go back in. We haven't had a color called sun in years. Like years. Like years. But I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight. Kind of right butted up here with this. Um, I may have picked. I may have. I would suggest maybe just doing five colors and not the six. I had taken out the two forms a yellow here so a little rainbow effect yeah this seems like it takes a while and it it does it, it but it's not hard now the other thing is is you guys when you get done with this all you have to do is run water over it this stuff will wipe right off huh? yeah it really does 
Granny Apple Green. I am going to need to look in my... Uh, that one's green. Yep, that'll work. This reminds me of Nancy Franzenberg every time. Granny Apple Green? Yep. She made a comment about it. Did she? Yep. Because it's beautiful. Yeah. It's one of the prettiest green. I'm surprised Madison hasn't said anything. She loves green. You know, the one that she really likes is the um, Pretty Peacock. And I've got to agree, that is pretty beautiful is. Yeah. green. So I told you this one takes a little bit longer, but I'm telling you the payoff is it's big. Have I lost everybody? No, they're loving it. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to go with the Bermuda Bay. And if you've ever seen this effect done before, it is amazing. Even with just a single color, it's amazing. I need. I got the colors behind me kind of masking here what I'm doing. They say it's worth it to burn the new technique. Yeah, and you know, um, this is actually not anything new that I've made up or anything. I It's been around for a while. Um, the fact that I'm doing it in a rainbow color is, uh, I, I've not seen that before. Usually people brayer on a color, but be sure to overcross your lines too. One question. Okay. They, they're noticing that you're bouncing it. I am. It's Can you swipe it? Well, if I do, then any ink that comes on here will go in and fill into those little um, grooves, grooves mm -hmm. and I and I want the color to be darker on the bottom and lighter on the top, so that's why I'm not doing that. Go out just a little bit more. That's why this is actually... Um, Let's see if I have a dark blue. This is actually better done. Well, it's not better. It's just easier, quicker if you just brayer them on. That was how we used to do it in the old days. I say the old days. I've been a stamper for like all of 12 years or something. But when I first started, every little technique was always like the best. You know, and the thing of it is, is bringing back some of these old ones. So you basically see what I've done. I've got it mirrored. Now here's where the magic happens. Yeah, you better get that corner. <laughs> Just want to make sure, you know. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, so. I'm going to go. Like this and I want to I'm going to turn this you guys just so that I can see what I'm doing where I think it's gonna does, does the ink dry out before you do this or no we're gonna press it on it it dries a little on the first oh, but okay. I haven't had any problems so far okay so now you see how vibrant it's gonna be now we're going to pull out the big shot. Yes. I don't I know that Stampin' Up is coming out with a, a new die cut machine and when I get one, but this one is my embossing one. We're going to run it through. You don't have to run it back. I'm in the habit of running through and running back. Here's the big reveal. So it made the colors pop. Do you see that? Now all I have to do, unless I'm doing more of these, is just run this underwater and dry it off. That's it. It, it rinses right off. So no, <laughs> no big worries. Whoa, a bunch of them. 
So do you see that, that awesome. beautiful background? So you might not like the ornate garden necessarily, but let's get on with this. I know I'm gonna need to cut this down. I did that on purpose because sometimes the edges get a little bit funny and that's okay. I'm gonna pull out my, I'm just gonna use my guillotine because it's quick. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down to around four. Woo! Snap that baby down, huh? <laughs> Keep your fingers out of there. Shoo. Let's see. I might do a little on this side. Why don't you come over here and put your finger in there? No. <laughs> All right. That was just quick. Oh, I just had a screwy screwy. I don't know. You're talking to me. There we go. Sure. Blame the help. Blame the help. Listen, how much do I pay you? Who is going to tease Bill tonight? I need some teasers. I need that paper back because I think it helps see in the, the black. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Now, granted, that was a lot of work, but isn't that really pretty? Kind of worth it. Yes. Mm, they love it. Awesome. Because this is a 3D embossing folder... I do do a little bit of extra ink because it is a little bit more grooved. I'm in love with this embossing folder. So those of you who have it already, who have purchased it already, probably know how beautiful it is. This has got to be one of my favorites in a long time. I just, I like the pattern of it. I like the small pattern of it. I love how bits where um, I was going through with the brush first kind of um, stay white because it goes up into that embossing folder. Isn't that neat? Oh, okay, now let's go on. Look at this. This is the ornate frame that goes with the ornate garden set that I've had people say, I don't know, I don't know. Look at that, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. If you think it's an, um, an old lady, that's what I've had people say is they think it's old lady. I, I'm here to say, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> this is gorgeous. So let's glue this down. I hate to go over the embossing, but the, the embossing was just kind of my background piece. It's kind of an ornate background piece. So then let's use the stamp set. And I'm just going to use black because I'm using black. Plenty of black. Yeah. Did you see in that thing um, any embellishments? I had some embellishments and I can't, I don't see them around here. So let's hope I can, I'm going to test this first because I want. I don't know if I have this. No. I do have that straight on the block. Um, There is some embellishments around here somewhere. I'll find them. It's live. There has to be one thing that yeah, no kidding. goes goofy. It's Joy's fault, so it's don't Joy's worry fault. about it. Yeah, we'll just blame Joy. I can't thank you enough. And let's pop this up on here. This green glue is my absolute favorite. I do think it just holds lovely. And it's it's cheap. It's cheaper than snail. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay. So I wanted to show, and you say there isn't any of those? There was nothing in that no. cart? I surely no. wouldn't have put something away, would I? Oh. In the tray, there wasn't no. anything? In the tray. Well, let me look. Hold tight, guys. Huh. Oh, they love it. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. Um, we still have, I used the glimmer, the glimmer, um, yeah, I can't think of what they're called. 
enamel dots, glimmer enamel dots. These are going out. They have them in Granny Apple Green, Pool Party. This is the Melon Monkey, the Poppy Parade. I think it goes very, I don't know if they're on, they're on the closeout, but I don't know if they're still there or not. So let me pull in the other card. Now, isn't this vibrant? Isn't this just beautiful, you guys? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love brights. I love bright colors, and I think this is really pretty. I did actually try to do it in the Mango Melody, which I used here. It just wasn't as bright and sunshiny. I thought maybe it would be, but it wasn't as bright and sunshiny. It was definitely more orange. So um, for what I'm doing with all the yellow, the little yellow things. Move it up a little bit. They said it wasn't quite in view. Oh, okay. Let me... Is that better? Ooh, very nice. Ooh, gorgeous. Okay. So, um... If you would like to purchase any of these items, all you have to do is to go to the blue Shop Now button here on my um, Facebook page. And if you're watching later on YouTube, I'll have it posted in the um, description of the video. And should we do some drawings tonight, Bill? Yeah, let's do a, just do three tonight. Oh, three, huh? Three. So thank you guys for sharing my video, inviting friends, tagging friends in. It means so much to me. Um, I really am close to a goal, so any purchases really help me right now. Okay, we got the tickets, and I, we had some multiple posts, um, shares last night, so who do we got? Gene Orwig. <laughs> Gene Orwig, guess what? You won the cards tonight, you lucky duck. These are some awesome cards. Okay. Now what Let's, else are we giving away? Well, we have, um... We have ribbon to give away. I've got some gray granite ribbon. Uh, let's see, some mint macaron. I've got, uh, let's see. I've got some of the vellum left. I've got a couple of the vellum left. I've got, oh, I've got some DSP. Should we do DSP? DSP, right. Okay, yeah. we'll do some DSP. All right, let's get two of those out. Let's go for the next one, Bill. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Cindy Custer Ernst. Oh, Cindy. I know she shared, she yeah. shared a couple times. So. Cindy, you won some DSP, and off the top of my head, I can't think of the name of it. It's the Garden Lane. It's a sampler pack of the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. So um, I actually have your address, I believe. If I don't, I'll message you. And, and the last one. Ah, oh, France. France. <laughs> I just mailed out your package today. <laughs> but you won some DSP also. So I will get those in the mail to both of you. So, um, and thank you so much for stopping by. We definitely enjoy. I hope you heed some of my words tonight, not just some of the techniques and tips, but send a card, send it to somebody who maybe you don't even know. There's all kinds of things all over Facebook. Somebody's 90th birthday was posted recently. So Appreciate you letting me come into your home and sharing what I know, and I will see you next week, 7 p.m. Bye-bye.